Hi everyone, this is Joe Erickson from your page today, and welcome back. This is Lesson 2 of WordPress 101. Today we're going to be uh, logging in and getting started using your website administrative tools. So today I'm going to be showing you how to log in. I'll be getting you familiar with your content management dashboard and just showing you the ins and outs of some things that you should and shouldn't do. So by now you should have all downloaded the anti-malware software, Malwarebytes. If you haven't done that yet, um, go to malwarebytes.org or you can go ahead to yourpagetoday.com forward slash WordPress and just review lesson one once again and make sure that you've downloaded malwarebytes.com. Once you have that downloaded, then you are all set and ready to go to edit your website. So everyone's dashboard is going to be a little different. Uh, so I'm going to show you a couple of different websites to, and log into them to show you the difference between what the administrative dashboards look like. I'll be going over how to log in and all the different things that you should and shouldn't do because it's very important for you to know what you can and can't do within this admin. So just to show you how to log in, you'd go to your domain name, whatever your domain name is, .com forward slash WP dash admin. And this is how you log in to your dashboard. Some of you will have this WordPress uh, logo and some of you will have your own logo. Either way, if you see this box here, you're in the right place. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. And once you log in, this is your dashboard. So again, everybody's is going to be a little bit different. So just as a for instance, I'll show you this one. I'll go ahead and log in. I will show you. So this dashboard, a little bit different looking than the other, but that's okay. Overall, they all pretty much have the same thing. So when you log in, I want you to be familiar with this left-hand column over here. Most of the stuff that you do is going to be over here. You've got photo galleries, and you've got your user settings, and you've got pages. So pretty much everything you're going to do, you're going to find right over here. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to add a brand new administrative user to this website. If I wanted to do that, I would simply log in and go here to Users. And then I would add my brand new user here. You're going to enter their username. Just pick anyone you'd like, their email address, first and last name. Website field you can ignore. You don't need that. Enter a good, strong password. Clicking this box, it'll send this person an email saying, hey, you're now an admin of this website. Here's your login info. And make sure you set their role to administrator. That allows them to edit the website. So then when you choose Add New User, they'll get an email, and they'll be able to log right in and start editing. So that's how you set new administrative users. Here in Pages, this is where you would click on one of your pages to edit it. You could also delete one of these pages. Or you can create new pages by clicking on Adding New. So I'll show you how to do this in the next video. Right now, I just want you to get familiar with the dashboard. Another thing that you'll see within WordPress is oftentimes on your dashboard, it might say, please update now, because you have a little bit of an older version of WordPress. This particular user has WordPress version 3.1.3. .3. However, 3.2.1 is now available. Now, I don't recommend, my dear sweet clients, that you choose update because some of my client websites are a little more advanced and customized than some other ones. So sometimes choosing update might break some of your plugins that you have on your website. Plugins being contact form modules or photo gallery modules, even store modules might break. So don't update anything unless you consult me first um, and I make a full complete backup of the website and its database first before we do an update. So that's the 
overall gist of using your website admin and getting familiar with the dashboard. That's how you log in. That's where you find everything. Uh, important thing to understand is, uh, you know, after you're done editing your website, always choose log out. You don't want to leave that connection open. Uh, let's see, make sure that you have malware bytes running in the background. And that's it for this lesson. So let's go ahead and move on to the next lesson where we actually begin editing and adding new website pages. I'll see you guys soon.